The management company out of Jackson, Tennessee is kind of changing course tonight. This is all after a WSV4 investigates after we uncovered a letter telling residents that hey, they would have to repay their rent and the letter even admitted it had been stolen by their property manager. Investigative reporter Courtney Allen has been on this story and Courtney, what are they saying now? Despite the letter to Holly Tree apartment residents being sent a month ago, volunteer management company claims that last week is the first time that they saw it. Now they're apologizing to the people who live there. This is the letter that caused John Weiler and Angel Baker to talk to WSMB4, telling them to repay rent they already paid to Holly Tree Apartments in Manchester. I paid it, so I shouldn't have to pay it back if I already paid it. The letter admits now former property manager Casey Euler had stolen it. Euler is charged in Warren County and under investigation in Manchester and Deckard for allegedly stealing rent payments at properties run by volunteer management company. Take responsibility for your employees. When asked about the letter last week, volunteer management company supervisor Brad Tursky told us via email, quote, that is how the legal system works. But just two days after our story aired, we got another email from Tursky now saying, quote, apparently the current manager wrote this on her own. That same day, Tursky sent a second letter to residents saying the initial letter, quote, was not authorized and there is no action needed on your stolen rent. He, he never expected anybody to, to go to the news to have this aired publicly and, and now they look foolish. We talked to Weiler again on the phone Monday. He says even though the balance is no longer due, he plans to move out. He's playing dumb, he's backpedaling, despicable. Despicable is the word. This story has gotten the attention of the USDA, the federal agency that provides funding for the three complexes that Oilers accused of stealing from. A USDA spokesperson told us that they are looking into the situation and working with all parties to reach a resolution. Courtney Allen, WSMB4.